let us continue reading the same passage genesis chapter 3 verse 4 we read like this but the serpent said to the woman but the serpent said to the woman you will not die you will not die and second and fifth one next one for god knows for god knows that when you eat of it that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened your eyes will be opened and you will be like god and you will be like knowing god, good and evil knowing good and evil my dear brothers and sisters satan's temptation is very strong you know why because there is truth in it there is partial truth in it that is why temptation is very strong suppose if it's if somebody tempt you with a lie and you know it is a lie you will not be tempted is very easy to overcome the temptation which is clearly a lie but here the temptation comes in the form of truth he says god knows that when you eat of it your eyes will be opened of course the eyes were opened and he said you will be like god knowing good and evil because only god knows what is good and what is bad now these people only knows good but once they taste it they also will know what is evil so the devil what he said is true but at the same time not fully true partial truth the temptation of the devil is so strong because there is truth in it partial truth in it if there was no truth in what he says nobody will be tempted is very we all have common sense to understand what is right and wrong therefore we may not fall into temptations if there is no truth in it devil is so cunning and crooked and he is so sharp and therefore when he tempts you he will tempt you with some truth in it so that is why nowadays many people are being diverted manipulated and even influenced by the evil one because they feel there is truth in it that's how the devil works they will he will give you some truth in it praise the lord praise and the lord. that is the work of the devil my dear brothers and sisters this is how the devil tempt each and every one of us so it was true that the eyes were opened the eyes were opened but what i which i he didn't explain it was true that they now they know good and evil but the consequence of the evil that is affect, affecting them he did not tell them so he will tell you some truth but the result would be disaster for example when the devil tell tell you if you go for black magic you will easily will flourish if your business is not working properly you call some baba you go there and do do some black magic some kind of uh, uh, tr trick and you do these do that and then you have business will flourish and it looks like truthful because he will give you some examples look at them they did and they were successful look at this family they did they are successful and influence these kinds of truth partial truth will influence many young people even families to go for black magic witchcraft and everything and once they do it instantly they see some result but ultimately it is going to destroy the whole family i have hundreds of examples in front of me who are destroyed because they have gone for black magic sin against first commandment but remember devil is still tempting people with this partial truths devil is still working on many families who are take you know who are influenced by this wrong information since there is some examples people believe the devil and follow this evil and now they are going through the consequence of this evil that they have done therefore my dear brothers and sisters when the devil promise you some goodness some truthfulness don't follow even if it is partially truth or even if you feel it is truth don't follow it just blindly believe what bible says and jesus says you will be safe sometimes the, you know uh, the devil will influence you like this with negative things but we don't even realize it's negative we think it's positive and end up in negative so let's examine our conscience and see are we influenced by the wrong informations the devil and evil one is giving us today are we in listening to the wrong people are we following the teaching of jesus and the bible 
or or do we think this is out fashion and the what the people in the world is telling us is the truth and our friends are telling us what is, what they are te- telling us is the truth are we influenced by them then we are in danger my dear brothers and sisters praise the lord